Hi everyone, welcome back to another Let's Edit video. Uh, I just want to touch base and let you know that this series is going really well. We're through about, I think this is our seventh episode in uh, of getting some really good feedback on it. Um, there's a lot more coming. I have some ideas uh, that I'm working on. I'm hoping to uh, let you know about them probably um, in March. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, we're going to do this photograph today and what I'm going to do is actually turn this into a selective color image using only Lightroom. Um, it's a little, you know, you're, you're limited by Lightroom in some aspects of doing selective color because you can't do um, any kind of layer masks or anything like that, but uh, it is a very powerful program and uh, with a photograph like this where what I want to do is keep the yellow line in color and then basically fade everything else to black and white uh, we can do that very easily. So the first thing I'm going to do is come down to the HSL tab and this basically controls your hue, saturation, and luminescence and basically what we're going to do is we're going to want to be in saturation and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to drop everything down to minus 100 except for the yellow, which I'm going to actually bring up just a hair. We'll go up plus 30 or so, um, just to give a little bit more yellow. And we might actually bring in just a little bit more orange as well, just because there might be a little orange in that yellow line as well there. So that's looking pretty good. We're, we're already, um, you know, 90% of the way to a selective color photograph. But what we have to do now is kind of, you know, make it uh, more interesting. So we're going to come up to our basic tab. And I think what I'm going to do is drop the exposure a little bit. I'm kind of going for a moody, dark, um, selective color image. So I think I'm going to go really kind of dark on this. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out, but uh, that's what I'm thinking of right now. We may have to add some uh, exposure back in. So yeah, I think I'm going to actually bring the exposure back in because that was just, that was too dark for me. Um, I kind of like this a little better. We might go a little bit darker, but that's good. Add some clarity. Um, add some vibrance to really make that yellow pop and maybe maybe darken it. We can darken it up with the blacks here rather than darkening it with the exposure. We'll darken it up with the blacks. This is really starting to look good, but as you notice, all this editing actually has unhidden some color. We have some color in the grass. We have some color up here in the clouds. So we're going to have to deal with that. But everything is desaturated as you remember everything except orange and yellow so basically these colors are a part of those or they are just so bright that even desaturating them minus 100 hasn't brought them all the way to black and white so what we're going to do is actually come into our adjustment brush tool now if you've watched some of the other videos here um, you'll know that I've used this tool to adjust the exposure of uh, many of my photographs but today we're going to do something a little different as you can see there's a whole lot of other stuff you can do with your adjustment brush and what i'm going to do today is i'm going to take it and use it as a desaturating tool i'm going to turn my saturation to minus 100 and get a nice big brush and what i'm going to do is just paint in everywhere there's color that i don't want there to be color so that's pretty good there. And then one more thing that I'm going to do, just to add a little bit more mood to this photo, is I'm going to come in with a gradient filter from the top. And what I really want to do is make these clouds kind of pop off the screen a little bit. So I'm going to bring in a, just a little bit of drop the, dropping the exposure, so a little bit of darkness. Um, add maybe a little contrast. Um, Bring the highlights up a little, maybe drop the shadows, add a little, just a touch of clarity. And remember, this is all with just this gradient filter. So all we're affecting is everything above this line, and we affect it in a graduated way. So it's stronger the further away we get from this filter. Um, so this is looking pretty good. 
to touch that. So I think I'm going to leave it like this. We'll close down. Uh, there's a couple little things I'm just going to clone out really quickly. Just some little dust spots. And then the last thing I'm going to do is, as you can see here, we have um, this line, but it's not perfectly centered. And with things that are very symmetrical, like this um, double yellow, and being that it's our focal point, I kind of want it to be in the center of the frame. So I'm just going to crop in here from the right and get it as close to the center as I can. And I may try and see if I can uh, straighten it up a little. It might look a little weird. Maybe just go like this. Right over just a hair here. So there we go. That's uh, that's what I'm going to call my final image here. Uh, here is where I started, and here's where I finished. I hope you like this uh, edit of these double yellow lines. Um, thank you for watching this Let's Edit video. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel. And if you did like what I did here, or any of my other videos, please remember to click the like button on YouTube. It does help. YouTube suggests my videos to more people looking for content like this. So thank you very much for helping me out, and thank you for watching. I'll see you again next week. Have a good one. Bye.